Betty. And I'm Veronica. And this is Wizard World Comic Con in Tulsa, Oklahoma, Tulsa's inaugural comic convention. Let's go see what's happening. There were, of course, hundreds of people in super cool costumes showing love for their favorite movie characters, comic book characters, video game characters, any kind of characters you can think of. They were there. Young and old, whole families in costume out this weekend. Besides checking out all the cool costumes, my sister and I were able to catch up with Boondock Saint star Sean Patrick Flannery. Oh, and you're like, oh, what about Tulsa? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I can dig oh. it. Oklahoma looks nice. I didn't know about tornadoes. Yeah. And then I moved here after, and I didn't know about tornadoes either, and she didn't tell me about it. Did she have, she have to tell you? You're twins. You should know that. Yeah, I should have known. known the, Isn't the it like nightmare. she experiences a tornado, and you're like, oh, I she feel wind. She loves like, it. No yeah. <laughs> Y'all have that going on? Yeah. 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 It's like an interesting phenomenon. It is. It's weird. But, um, okay. I've been to Oklahoma City, been to Tulsa. I was, uh, I'm, I'm from a small town outside of Houston. So, uh, it's not too dissimilar from this area. I live this part of the You know, it's a common, you know, ideology, mentality, family. Going in. Uh, I, I get it. Good. Glad. I'm glad that you're glad. <laughs> I'm glad that you're glad. So, and this, I'm not sure, you probably know by now that this is Tulsa's first comic I didn't know that. Yeah. This but is that's it. that's cool. This yeah. Is their first comic well, you got a good one. I'll tell you. I mean, the Wizard World. That's that's the best the best event cruise in the country right now. So it's a it's a good one. And even though I'm a part of it, I'm a fan of this type of stuff. You know, I mean, these are the these are the shows that I grew up with. You know, I remember I I, I, I flew on a plane to a Wizard World event next to Adam West, the original Batman. Wow. And so I, I snuck up a, a shot because I, I I didn't want to. Ask him. He was like directly across the aisle, but I snuck a shot. I was like, "Yeah, I'm on my phone." I'm like, "Click," and I got a shot of Adam West. You know, these, these are just neat, neat events. You know, for I think everybody here kind of digs it. You know, like, every time I do one of these, and, and me and Norm, who's one of my best friends, plays uh, Daryl Dix on The Walking Dead, we've done a handful of these now, and it's just a, it's 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 a, it's nourishment for the soul to meet the people that love something that you've done, you know? It's kind of crazy that, you know, I'm employed in an industry that they pay you for what you do, but then even after that, there's people that want to come and tell you they love the job you did, you know? And I don't know anybody that's ever been paid to dig a ditch where somebody's stopping and goes, hey, you know what, I just wanted to tell you, that ditch you dug, it's pretty amazing, you know? It's kind of, it's, 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 it's just a, we've been lucky, you know, to be involved in an industry like this. It's, 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 it's really neat. I can go and check out all the cool toys. I just saw that they have a Mach 5. Like this, this, this booth over here has a Speed Racer Mach 5. So I want to go and nail that baby, you know, before somebody else grabs it. Unfortunately, there's one, so it's probably going to be unavailable after I get my hands on it. But it's, there's cool stuff for everybody. So, now uh, the questions are going to come up about the Boondock Saints. Lay them on me, honey. How did you ever think that when you were making that First of all, big fans obviously were from Boston, and we, you know, have watched it of course five million thousand times. Um, but did you ever think when you were making it, wow, this is going to have a cult following? No, you know, I, I mean, the deal is making a movie like that. It's, you know, in, in, in my business, you you make a film and you don't know if one person is going to see it, seventeen billion people, are gonna, you never know. Wow. I mean, the script was killer, but there's so many variables that go into it. Cool, thanks brother. <laughs> express yourself. I'm expressing with my full capabilities. <laughs> Blame it on Ice Cube. I'm well, gonna get in here. <laughs> Do it, do it. Okay. 
Okay, so back to that. About the, uh, the third baby. What about it? Check, it's gonna check, happen. Check. It's gonna check happen. Check one, check uh, one, two. Me and Duffy are meeting check, three check. times a week. Check one. Uh, check one, two. Hey, hey, check one, plans, check one, check one, two. Going to production of 15. It's going to happen. Awesome. Any, uh, is there a script already? Any kind of details? What are they say? Any, uh, Go wrong. exclusive information? Well, yeah, I'll give, you some, I'll give you an exclusive tip. We don't stay in prison. Boom, ninja! <laughs> right there! <laughs> Alright. Probably could have guessed that. Yeah, well, yeah. I was hoping so. I was, we're rooting for you. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Well, those are really all the questions I had. One, have any, uh, any questions? You got any? Um, Boondock Saints coming out. That's good. That's what I wanted to know. Um, and also, what happened to Norman Reedus when he was locked in your bathroom? I'm really uh, just dying to know. So you've been reading that as well? Yes. Uh, yeah. You let can every tell everybody let, else Let everybody later. know. Check it out on shineuntiltomorrow.com. I will be uploading part three on Monday. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to do a reading. I think we have a panel during the convention, a, pan, a Q&A, mm -hmm. and I think I'll probably read part three live during the panel. But it's a four-parter. Amazing story. <laughs> because I lived it. Um, you know, see, that's, that's a deal. You know, it, it's funny because the dudes socialize by picking on other dudes when they don't really mean it. Chicks socialize by complimenting other chicks when they don't really mean. You know what I mean? He's one of my best friends, man. And we've, that, that, we've done that since I met him 25 years ago. You know? but, uh, and he's got so much dirt on me, man. I, I did a cool film. We just wrapped a cool film called Kepler's Dream. Um, and I've been working on that for the last handful of months. Oddly enough, shooting it in the curfew. Wow. Yeah, wow. Santa Fe that. and the Kirky. Um, but wow. I'm done with that now, and now it's on relax through the new year. I'm gonna do nothing but hang out, go go back to see my folks in Texas for Christmas, and that's it. I make fun of Rita's, Good. and he'll make fun of me. Good. That's it. <laughs> and finish working up with Duffy on to finalize uh, part three, but we have a lot of production details. But that's it. That's what we're focusing on. Do you guys ever think that you'll shoot in Boston? Is it, have you shot? I know yeah, the yeah, first yeah. one was in Canada. Well, Toronto and Boston. Oh, okay. Same thing for part two and the same thing for part three. Okay. Yeah. I just read that yeah. it was in Canada. I mean, I saw like Boston things, but I didn't know if it was like... But the, the, the original church from part one, <laughs> there's a, uh, in part three, there's a material the, scene that that takes place in. Ohio, so, uh, and they definitely got in the TV spot. Awesome. Awesome. Wow. Well, thank you so much. You're uh, very welcome. Moving on, there were aisles and aisles of awesome goodies, comics, t-shirts, collectibles, artworks, something for everybody. And of course, it wasn't all buy and sell. Comic Conners got to sit in on numerous panels, like this one featuring Dollhouse and Buffy the Vampire Slayer actress Eliza Dushku. Um, and then like somebody pushes you and then like it like start fighting and you're like fighting and dancing at the same time. <laughs> Sick, right? <laughs> it's a tie, obviously. I was able to collect a lot more interviews, like one with famed comic book artist Neil Adams, another with the incredible Hulk Lou Ferrigno, and I was even able to catch up with Ralph Macchio, the Karate Kid. Stay tuned on this channel, I'll be posting those interviews in the upcoming weeks.